has get back to our prayers. This is the fourth week of Advent, so we'll be praying from week four of Advent, Monday evening prayers, beginning page 279, and our scripture reading and intercessors will also come from Mondays of Advent beginning from page 367. The Lord, the ruler over the kings of the earth, will come. Blessed are they who are ready to go and welcome him. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods, for his love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his love endures forever. It was he who made the great lights, for his love endures forever. The sun to rule in the day, for his love endures forever. The moon and the stars in the night, for his love endures forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord, the ruler over the kings of the earth, will come. Blessed are they who are ready to go and welcome him. Sing a new song to the Lord. 
proclaim his praises to the ends of the earth. The firstborn of the Egyptians he smote, for his love endures forever. He brought Israel out from their midst, for his love endures forever. Arm outstretched with power in his hand, for his love endures forever. Through the desert his people he led, for his love endures forever. Nations in their greatness he struck, for his love endures forever. Kings in their splendor he slew, for his love endures forever. He let Israel inherit their land, for his love endures forever. On his servant their land he bestowed, for his love endures forever. He remembered us in our distress, for his love endures forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Almighty God, remember our lowliness and have mercy. Once you gave your, our fathers a foreign land to inherit, free us today from sin, and give us a share in your inheritance. Sing a new song to the Lord. Proclaim his praises to the ends of the earth. When the Son of Man comes on earth, do you think he will find faith in men's hearts? Praise be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has bestowed on us in Christ every spiritual blessing in the heavens. He predestined us to be his adopted sons through Jesus Christ. Such was his will and pleasure that all might praise the glorious favor he has bestowed on us in his beloved. God has given us the wisdom to understand fully the mystery, the plan he was pleased to decree in Christ. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. When the Son of Man comes to earth, do you think he will find faith in men's hearts? I give thanks to my God, always on your account, for the grace of God bestowed on you in Christ Jesus.
we also await a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. He will change our lowly body to conform with his glorified body by the power that enables him also to bring all things into subjection to himself. Come and set us free, Lord God of power and might. Come and set us free, Lord God of power and might. Let your face shine upon us and we shall be saved. Lord God of power and might. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Come and set us free, Lord God of power and might. So the scripture this evening tells us something. We await a savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. And this is what I'm sure everybody will tell you about the season of Advent, waiting for the savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. However, this scripture reading goes deeper to tell us something more and he talks about a transformation he will change our lowly body to conform with his glorified body so there is what you know we speak about in theology you know about Christ became man so that human beings can become children of God so there is that exchange, there is that transformation that happens, that God became man so that human beings can become, you know, children of God. So this is a transformation that St. Paul was speaking about in the letter to the Philippians, you know. But it talks about um, this transformation that enables us to do something. It enables us to do something. And what does it enable us to do? Is it something good? People have been doing good before. But it's about something good for a purpose. That we're not just doing good for the sake of doing good. We're doing good because God has been good to us. And through our goodness, we are communicating the God of love. So that is what makes, you know, um, the Christian living different from just mere humanism, mere philanthropy. Because, I mean, you notice people do good and do good, you know, everywhere and every day. But there's a difference between when a Christian is doing good. A Christian is doing good because he feels God has enabled me to do that. God has blessed me. And because of that, I'm doing it. So um, it, I, I remember, you know, specifically once, you know, at, at a parish where I was, and people were thinking about, you know, Christmas, and you want to do gifts, gift to the people, do something to the people, and I said, but that's the same thing every other institution is doing. How can we make our own different? Is it possible? Today you are going to make this gift available. You call people and you pray with them before you start giving it to them. Is it possible you want to share a meal? Can you call people and say some prayer before you do so that there's something different between you, a Christian, doing something and what another person could do? It is not easy for a lot of us to understand it because uh, we we'll just give it to them and move away. But there is a difference between humanism and Christian charity. And so these are the things, you know, that we should think about, you know, especially during this season when we are trying to be as good as we can to people. It's not just enough to be good to people. We're doing being good to people because we feel God has given us his, a gift of his son. And so because of that, we are given. So in everything you want to do during this season, make sure you have the God content to it. If you don't have any God content to it, it's just like mere humanism and it makes no difference. So ours should be different in the way we approach it, in the way we do it. Amen. 
and they will rise. The angel of the Lord brought God's message to Mary and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Alleluia. The angel of the Lord brought God's message to Mary, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Alleluia. We cry to the Lord who will come to bring us salvation. Come, Lord, and save us. Lord Jesus Christ, our God, Savior of all. Lord, by your coming into this world. You came from the Father. You were conceived by the Holy Spirit. You became incarnate from the Virgin Mary. Lord, be mindful of all men and women. And what more are we trying to pray for today? Lord, hear our prayer. 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 Hear our prayer. Our 
and for all our parishioners that during this season that we may find joy in our faith in our family and in our church for this we pray to the Lord for those who have asked for our prayers and the many people we promise to pray for that God who knows the needs of all hearts we meet them at the points of their needs for this we pray to the Lord and for ourselves that at we strive every day after perfection to do good and to live good lives that we may have the strength of the Holy Spirit to know what is right and to do what is right. For this we pray to the Lord. And now with confidence for the coming of the Lord, let us pray as Christ taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord our God, help us to prepare for the coming of Christ your Son. May he find us waiting, eager in joyful prayer. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Down in adoration fallen, this great sacrament we held of our ancient forms of worship. New our rites of grace prevail. Faith will tell us Christ is present when our human senses fell. To the everlasting Father and the Son who made us free, and the Spirit God proceeded from them each eternally be salvation. On a blessing, might and endless majesty. Oh, you have given them breath from heaven. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you want for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving.
be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and the Immaculate Conception. Blessed be her glorious Assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Holy God, we praise your name. Lord of we bow before thee, all on her thy sceptre clan, all in heaven above adore Domain everlasting is thy reign, infinite thy vast domain everlasting. Oh. 